Here we go then, the lights say go, Brad Hutchinson says no, and the car's taking a warning action. Hutchinson's a silly target, Jack Depper around the outside, two wheels on the grass. Into the Melbourne hairpin, then Jamie Tonks outbreaks himself and threads the needle between Lewis Kent and Hugo Cock, lucky not to collect either of them, and Bruce Winfield takes advantage. This is for the race lead, that's the race leader, it's been contacted by Adam Shepard from behind, and Chris Smiley is off. That car became the most expensive lawnmower we've ever seen. Smith and Kent side by side, Kent across the gravel, Smith says, what track limits are you referring to exactly? After a stellar day at Alton Park, unfortunately, race one here, ending in tears for Jess Hawkins. The battle between Shepard and Bradley Kent, front and centre with Kent now turning his track car into a rally car. Down to the foggy S's and Brad Kent's got the job done, sweep through the tactical position, assisted by running outside the track limits. It's P2 to retirement for Hugo Cook. Neil Trotter, the latest driver to test the Cupra on the gravel. Works OK, says Neil. Bruce Winfield, the latest in the long line of drivers with problems. Looks like he's got a misfire. He's going backwards. Jamie Tonks takes the position, runs wide on the exit, and just like Apollo 11, kicking up dust. He's managed to recover the position at the business end. Tonks into the left hand and through the final turn. Runs wide on the grass and loses the position. Loses two. Max Hart sponsors will be delighted at his victory. They won't be delighted he's won by so far because we didn't see much of him, quite frankly.